welcome to the Orange Apron Life, uh, stories of working inside the home warehouse. Pardon the uh, code name, but don't really want to get sued or in trouble by using the company's real name. But I'm going to guess that you can guess um, who we're talking about here. This is meant to be purely fun, no harm intended, just sharing stories of what it's like working inside this uh, orange bubble here. Um, meet some interesting people, learn some interesting things, and uh, hopefully we get to share that with you uh, in some sort of humorous way. What I'll be sharing are, you know, stories of working with fellow associates, dealing with interesting customers, weird things the company does, and believe me, there are lots, as well as other fun stories. A little bit about me is that I will not tell you my real name. I will just let you know that I have worked for the company for 11 years between two stores, seen a lot of things, worked with a lot of people. You, you've seen the thing or two after a while. It uh, It's interesting. So hopefully I can share some stories with you and uh, you can get a little bit of a laugh out of them. What I also hope to share is just, you know, what it's like working in retail, especially in this type of environment. People who've never worked in retail don't really know what it's like. And those who have worked in retail, oh yeah, you know what it's like. So hopefully you get a kick out of some of these. Maybe if you haven't been, you know, behind the desk of uh, of the paint department, you can maybe appreciate a little more of what it's like. So, why don't we get started with our first story. I picked this story because it's one of my favorites, and it was my first first experience of kicking somebody out of, of our store. Um, so I'm behind the counter mixing paint as I normally do, and what's happening is this guy has got a really important question. And, of course, anybody who's ever worked in retail knows everybody's got an important question. So anyway, so what this guy does, he comes up to me, he's holding a bottle of adhesive. I won't give away the brand name because they're not paying me to advertise for them, but it's a, you know, your general household adhesive. He says to me, Hey! Can I use this on my car? So what do you mean on your car? What do you want to use it for? Do I want to glue a body kit to my car? I just look at him and go, why would you want to use this on your car? Well, I just want to know if I can use it. I grab the bottle, I look at it, I go, you know what? I'm going to say no, this isn't really meant for uh, that type of thing, and probably not. He goes, well, do you know for sure? No, I don't know for sure. This may work, it may not work, I couldn't tell you. So he gets really mad at me, and he's going, well, can you find someone who can tell me? Since there, no one here is expected to know if this thing will work on a car. You're in the home warehouse, not the automotive warehouse. If you really want to get something for your car, right across the street, there is an automotive parts company there. They can help you out, which was true. Across the street, there is an automotive retailer who sells automotive type of stuff. So if you want anything for your car, you really should go there. He didn't like that logical explanation. He goes, Can't you just tell me if this will work on my car? Sir, I, I, I can't tell you if it'll work on your car. Nothing here says it's for automotive use. I'm going to assume it's not good for automotive Why can't you just tell me? Why can't you get someone here who knows? I'm saying nobody here is expected to know if this will work. So why don't you just go across the street where they sell automotive stuff and ask him there? He's had enough of me. Why are you being so effing rude to me? I said, sir, leave the store. And I'm pointing right at the door. Time to leave. He goes, why? Why can't you just effing tell me if this will work? I said, sir, nobody should expect to know, but if you use that language, it's time to leave. And I said something to him along the lines of, get out of my store, or please leave my store. I basically, I said the words, my store. Um, and he picked up on this because, you know, he's obviously a smart guy. And he says to me, this isn't your store. You're just an employee here. Well, okay, you got me, dude. Yes, this isn't my store. I don't own it, but I am an employee here, and my job is to maintain certain standards, and you are falling below them. So, I think it's time for you to leave. He's getting upset. Now, the customers are next to him, and they're getting upset with him. They're backing me. They're going, you don't need to talk to anybody like that. You should listen to him and leave. My manager comes around the corner, because she's now she's hearing some guy shouting. She goes, what's going on here? I just want to know if this thing will work. And before she can even like really ask me what's going on, the customers are going, no, 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 this guy's lying. He's the one being shouting and cursing at your staff member here. He's really just being rude. I said, I asked him to leave because this type of behavior, we really don't want this in the store. And I'm being calm. And those who may know me know that I'm not always the most calm person in situations where I know I'm right. I tend to be, you know, calm. So the customers go, I just want to know if this will work on my car. Why won't you tell me if it'll work? And I said, I told him, I, this is not an automotive product. This, this is not automotive warehouse. So you can't ask me if something th- like this will work. I said, I've asked him to leave because he's cursing now. So my customer goes, so sorry, my, my, um, so then my boss goes, sir, it is time to leave. And me and her, we walk him to the door and say, sir, there's the exit. Please go somewhere else. And no, that's just a sample of some of the interactions we have at the home warehouse. Uh, it gets very interesting at times, and uh, you know, I'm sure many people have experienced customers uh, losing their minds for apparently no reason. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you'll subscribe and we can start telling you more stories of what it's like working inside this magical orange bubble.